Hey and welcome back to another resin with me. I've gotten a mold that I really 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 wanted and it took a long time for me to find it. The darker pink mold that you're seeing there that's shaped like a unicorn is a unicorn mold. They're all so very cute and I saw that they had been brought out on Facebook at Kmart and I really wanted one but all the stores sold out of them pretty much instantly. And I just happened to be going to a store one day and they had one spare on a shelf that was the wrong shelf and I was so excited to get it. My partner also recently bought me some flowers and unfortunately they are finishing their time in this world and they were passing over so I decided to put some of them in some resin which you saw a bit more at the start when I was going on about the unicorn mold. <laughs> I'm also finishing up the Pikachus in this one that I started last week, or last resin with me. Oh, look at how pretty the unicorns are. I love the unicorns. I can't wait to make more unicorns. Oh, and it was also Valentine's Day recently, which I'm sure you know if you're watching this around the same sort of time. Uh, so I made some little candy hearts with a mold that my mum got me. <laughs> I love you, mum. So here I'm just painting the faces on some Pikachus. And... Even though it looks really messy, I'm wiping the faces down to make sure the paint's only where I want it to be. It's easier to be too messy and then clean it up than to not get all of the spots. In my opinion, I'm sure other people work the other way. So here are the Pikachus. I have four of them. One winking, mouth open, mouth open, eyes open, mouth shut, eyes open, and mouth open, eyes closed. And some of the cheeks and faces are still a bit messy and not in the lines. I was fixing, I am going to fix that, but I didn't have time before recording this, so it'll be fixed up soon. And you'll probably see them on my Instagram when they're fixed up. This is one of the candy hearts, I just put it on a keychain with some pearls. This is the other one. I think they're very cute, once again, can't wait to make more of those. And this is the unicorn necklace that I made. My mum used to do a lot of beading and make a lot of necklaces, so I have inherited them from her. And I put the charm on the end with two chains going around. I'll insert a photo of me wearing it so that you can see what it looks like because it looks kind of funky like that. And then the clear charms that I made uh, didn't really work out too well. I couldn't fit a jump ring through them. They were more for me anyway and just to see the molds. I definitely have to make them thinner. But thank you for watching. I to do another one of these soon and I hope you have a wonderful day.